Alright then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome back guys to another Legend Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 86 rated English centre-back Saul Campbell. Now if you've kept up to date with my Legend Reviews over the past couple of days, you will know that I started doing the goalkeepers and the defenders, namely uh, Gary Neville. A lot of you guys have come to me asking me, am I going to review you know, other goalkeepers, other defenders? I promise that I will review every single legend available in ultimate team that means goalkeepers defenders strikers midfielders and whenever they're released the new ones as well so by the by the end of fifa 15 there will be a review of every single legend uh, available on the game on my channel guys so i just wanted to get that point across now today guys as i've already said and as you can see we're going to be looking at Sol campbell last year he was fantastic for me every single time i used him he was a brick wall for me and he was defending so god damn well the people I was playing were getting so frustrated because he was taking the ball very very easily this year it was no different guys I've got I'm happy to say Sol Campbell is one of the best center backs that I have used and I have used a lot of them come to think of it guys would you guys be interested in seeing you know my top five strikers my top five center backs things like that content like that I'm starting to think you know of different content to bring you guys let me know if you would like to see things like that let me go through Sol Campbell's negatives first. His passing, his dribbling, his aerial ability and his shooting. Pretty much things that you don't necessarily need or look for in a centre-back. You know, passing, uh, his dribbling and ball control. Again, like I said, you're not looking for them in the defender. Because if you pass to the, the, the player in question in this video, Sol Campbell, his touch will most likely give the ball away, guys. So keep that in mind. Whenever he got the ball, guys, he did give the ball away very, very easily, I would press the pass in a certain direction and he would just put no power behind the pass and give the ball away when he shouldn't have. So that got very, very frustrating using Sol Campbell. His aerial ability for me was surprisingly bad. It's, it's probably due to, you know, headers being very, very rare, especially with defenders in this game. The only time you're going to be scoring headers with them is from corners. Um, and Sol Campbell got his head to the ball a few times, uh, but they either went wide or the goalkeepers that I came up against pulled off stupid saves. Um, that's pretty much all the weaknesses guys positives he's got fantastic pace for a center back 78 pace which is exactly what you want to see or me personally is great pace in my opinion positioning was fantastic he's got good work rates low attacking which is exactly what I like to see in a center back and medium defensive obviously it would be perfect if he had the high defensive but medium defensive is good enough to work with strength with him is in, it's, it's insane guys he just muscles people off the ball very easily and once he does that you you can see people raping the B button on him straight afterwards trying to take the ball and he's, he's not budging and it's very very difficult for them to take the ball off him. Like I said guys his work rates are very good low attacking medium defensive and the other plus that I did find is that his tackling abilities is just ridiculous whether you're talking about standing tackles or sliding tackles this guy took the ball from attackers that I did come up against very easily and that's exactly what I like to see in not only a centre back any defender guys and that's that's a big plus for me you know and it made me enjoy him a hell of a lot now is he worth the coins as of right now guys he does go for around about the 400,000 coin mark I think it is my by the time you're watching this his price may have changed so don't judge it by this video head on over to um, either the game or footbin.com to check his price um, but I gotta say he is definitely worth the coins I mean if you want to buy the best players in ultimate team you guys are gonna have to pay the price or at least most of the time unless you're talking about you know the cheap overpowered players but a lot of the players in ultimate team that are expensive are insane in the game Sol Campbell is a defender that I would highly recommend you buy for your team because for me he was just a brick wall and that's going to wrap up this Sol Campbell review if this did guys help you decide whether or not to buy him yourself then a like is greatly appreciated and as always from me please take care and I will see you all next time ta-da guys